Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. This is Srinivas Pujari. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the, so what is data mart, how to create the data mart, what is, what we require to create a data mart and all. So in our earlier video, my previous video, so we discussed about, uh, so what is data mart and what are the benefits by using data mart? Okay, what are the benefits we can get? And then, so what are the futures we have Okay, what are the features we have to you know, create a, a data mart? And then, so when to use the data mart, I have explained very clearly. Okay, if you haven't watched that video, so please watch that video, then you can watch this video so that you can understand very clearly. And also I will give that uh, description, that video description uh, in this video, so you can go directly and then you can watch that. So now, so how to create a data mart? For that, you required, a, uh, so first you required a premium, uh, premium uh, so capacity power bi premium capacity or premium per user okay so any license you required so both of them so you required any one of the license so then so here in a, in this example i am going to use the uh, so premium per user workspace like how to create the premium per workspace okay let me go here so you can go to you know so workspaces uh, create a workspace we're creating a workspace just uh, i have already created the premium workspace just i'm going with the no, test one so test workspace and then you can go here in advanced option so you can choose uh, you know pro license okay so premium sorry premium per user license then save this okay so if you want to know some different settings you want you can go that see how you can identify the uh, difference between the pro license and the premium license whenever you have a premium license you will have the diamond uh, you know uh, shape so the normal uh, workspace will not have that diamond shape okay this is the premium licenses okay these are the pre uh, sorry these are the pro licenses which are not having the dimension uh, the those are the uh, you know pro licenses okay which are having the dimensions okay those are you know uh, premium per user license okay let me go here and then create a so data mart. If you go here, so these are the data marts. There is no data mart as of now. So let's go here. Here we have a new option, right? So you can go to the new option. So when you click on the new option, so there is a data mart. So you can go here in the new option. So just go with the data flow. Here is the data flow. Just click on the data flow. Okay. So and also you require a standard gateway case. Okay. Standard gateway you require to refresh the data mart. So I have explained very clearly about the you know. So which one is creating, sorry. So I think we have you know, selected the data flow, I think so, sorry, but it's not data flow, uh, it's a data mart, sorry. Okay, so you have to go with the data mart, right? So just go and then select the data mart. Okay, so when you select the data mart, when you select the data mart, it will open a, a window there, we can, you know, by default, we can see like, uh, um, you know, SQL, Excel, and then data flows. But if you want you know more so more other sources you can go in here get data uh, from other sources or else you can click on get data from uh, so anything okay you can go click here or else you can go click here so anything is fine so it will like uh, so uh, how in power bi desktop will show like so the number of connections the same way we can see all kind of connections like uh, all categories and then file section so what are the files we can connect and then databases, what are the databases we can connect and all. So all connections and then power platforms, okay, data flows, data marts, and then data was, so Azure and online services, okay. So everything we can connect. So for now I'm going with the, you know, SQL Server database, just select the SQL Server. So here my server name is, so, so when you connect the SQL Server, you will have one, you know, uh, server so take that sql server so why i'm taking the sql server most of the people use the sql server right so that is the reason i'm using that sql server and then so database name is my adventure works dw so if you are not clear about like so 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 if you want to install the sql server and then add how to add adventure works dw to your sql server database so i have explained very clearly you can go to my channel and then uh, search about that so uh, you can find that guys okay so now so I have added this too, okay? So I have on-premises gateway installed. So even I have explained about on-premises gateway, so how to install and all. So you can watch that video, guys, okay? And so here I'm going to give a you know, window credentials, so like select, so you have three types of, you know, um, uh, authentications. Windows credentials, you can go and then uh, do that, okay? So let me go here and then um, take the, um, uh, this, um, 
you know username okay you can go with the username so how to get this username okay when we have a windows authentication sql we will connect directly but how to get this username and then password okay you have to go with the command prompt okay so command prompt uh, uh, so in command prompt you can type uh, who am i who am i you can type who am i just uh, in who um i so just type that so you will get the username and then password is your system password guys okay you can use that and then so i am using my system password okay so then click on next so click on next so it will you know connect to our database and then you can choose only required we can choose required tables okay so and then we can apply the etl operations so what we can do uh, so we can do the etl operations and also we can create the relationship between the tables without knowing sql also we can create a ad hoc analysis and also uh, create ad hoc reports and also we can create a rls we can also create the measures but we cannot create a calculated column and a calculated table why because we have a sql directly we can write the code and then we can uh, get a new column and new table not a problem for this case okay but um, by using dax we cannot you know create this but by using sql um, editor by using sql editor you can create that so we will see all this uh, now guys okay this is six points we'll see uh, how to do that okay so see it is open like so different tables for now i am going with the only two tables dim date table okay so dim date table and then uh, fact internet sales table okay you can go with the fact internet sales so these two tables i am selecting and even you can click on the select uh, select related table also uh, if you want but i am going with only two tables and then click on transform data so you can click on transform data it will open a uh, online power query editor so here you can do the you know enter data and uh, manage parameters so whatever the things we do in the power query so all things we can you know so remove columns choose columns and then remove rows uh, reduce rows okay in reduce rows remove rows keep rows and then filter the rows so uh, combine means we have a merge queries append queries all things we have so we can do whatever the things we will do in the uh, uh, power query desktop in a in power bi desktop so the same things we can do here okay so for now so uh, if you have any things to do you can do but it's my structured data i'm not going to do anything so what are the steps okay anyhow so this you can do with the power query right so we have a power query so the same way we can uh, do it okay so but removing the columns and then so something if you want to do you can click on right click or so you can choose this way so or this way you can do that okay so for not uh, i'm going to do anything just click on save okay so after etl operations when you click on save see it is you no know, um, loading for you the data is loading into the uh, model so the back end data will be um, azure sql okay you if you, you know if you want to know the benefits and then where the data is stored and all so i strongly recommend to watch the previous video here i am showing only how to create the you know data mart guys okay how to create the data mart okay so done it has been created so go to the workspace so in the workspace if you go to the data flow so there is a one data flow okay you can go here click on that data flow so it will open uh, this one okay so here you can see okay you can go to the new query or uh, so you can write the uh, new sql query or visual query so if you know the sql you can write a sql query also but if you don't know the sql you can go with the you know visual uh, um, query you can write it and then new major and manage role viewer role so you can create a roles as well and then you can enter the data so here so below we have see these uh, views okay if you want to create a relationships you can go to the model view if you want to write some sql okay you can go and then so these are the options we have so we'll explore that so first one so what is the first one uh, so here etl operations we have done we'll create the relationships so the second one we'll create the relationship good for that i'm going to the modeling tab so we'll see okay so whether this relationships okay so in my um, no database i have the relationship that is the reason so it's imported the same relationships here so like this if you want to you know delete the relationship you can delete the relationship or uh, if you want to you know um, create a relationship you can go and then create a relationship see this cardinalities and then uh, cross filtering direction everything like how you have in the uh, power bi desktop so the same way we will have that um, so this way we can create a relationship and uh, 
this is like you can you know write your own queries okay sql queries you can drag this uh, here see so you can drag that so this is like i'm selected the entire table and if you want to filter something it is it is giving the visual basics okay so even you can write from here also if you want to write some you know uh, select uh, star from okay if you want to write a uh, you know sql code so if you know like how to write the sql code you can use like this okay this is the uh, sql uh, you can write the sql and then you can run the query so here is the run button so you can use this run button and then you can click on that okay so but if you want a visual uh, things okay you don't know how to write a sql and all so you can go to this visual uh, you know uh, design mode so you, there you can drag these uh, tables and then you can apply some filters and then so whatever the things okay whatever the things you want you can you know uh, if you want to you know, create a relationship so if you want to apply if you want to search some columns you can some search some columns and also also okay so if you want to you know uh, join these tables okay so fact internet tables you can if you want to join you can join the table also okay so let's go here three three dots so if you want you know merge okay so merge is a new query or merge query so merge is a new query then you can create a relationship between the tables so let's take the uh, no so only one table i have dragged right so if you you have to drag one more table so and then create a relationship between them so just to go here and then uh, create a relationship left uh, auto join so then you can go to the append as a new query so then you, here you can go with the dim date table and then date key and then if you want you know due date key so just you can up, create a relationship and then so without knowing your sql okay you are creating a join between the uh, tables okay so see after joining the tables uh, this is the final table from the final table if you want to apply some group by or uh, uh, if you want to apply some, you know, top 10 products, something like that. So you can go and then apply that. Okay. This is the, some basics I am given, right? So like, so that way, even the results also, the final results also you will get. So this is like, so see even the diagram also giving like, so the total records from left table and the matching records from the right table and all. So this is the way we can do the things. And also just now we have seen, okay, add our canal six. So this is the add our canal six. And also we can create a relationship. So okay, you can go here and then, um, so in that data, we can go here and then we can, you know, create a manage relationship and uh, you can create a relationships also. So whatever the relationships you want to create, you can create a relationship. I'm not going with that, like how to create a relationship and all. So this is the same like, you know, how we have in the desktop, right? So the same way we can create a relationships, right? So like RLS, right? So I have explained RLS, how to create RLS and all. So I've explained very clearly. So you can go and then uh, see that uh, RLS case, okay? So so that you will understand how to create RLS here also, okay? You as a role, we can, you uh, know, um, to test the role, we can go with the uh, view as a role, okay? These are the things we can do. Um, we can create a measure also, like, so if you want, you know, total sales amount, just a new measure, click on new measure. So like you can go with the, you know, so like, total sales amount okay so if you want to you know go with the total sales amount total uh, sales amount how we can do in the power bi desktop the same way sum of uh, you know sales amount okay sales so you can select like this and then it will give the total sales amount you can create a measure also okay so like this way you can create a measures okay so if you know if you don't know the sql you can use this you know um, uh, visual builder sql visual builder i have explained very clearly so what we, without knowing sql okay without knowing sql you can like uh, so whatever the questions of okay, business users have the questions so by joining these two tables i want to uh, so some of these results and also whatever the questions you have if you you can ask the questions by visual only okay by applying the visuals you can go and then get that and uh, if you know the sql you can write the sql uh, from here and not only you know uh, sql you can get uh, you can go with the you know excel or sharepoint or anything you can go and then uh, you can create your uh, data mart okay hope you understand the data mart guys okay so this is about the data mart so these are the benefits you have so uh, this these things we can do okay hope you like the video okay please uh, share and subscribe my channel for more videos guys okay uh, and also give me suggestions okay so like uh, if you have anything so like what things what things you you want me to from my side then i will you know create a video for you whenever i get the time okay so if you watch the first time uh, i request you to you know uh, 
uh, subscribe my channel for more videos guys okay and also share more people um, thank you thank you so much have a great day guys